good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel you can probably tell that i am in a little bit of a lazy mood this morning i have done very minimal makeup today i'm not in the mood to do a full face i've actually just put on the pixie skin tint and can we take a minute for the skin because i feel like the facials are really really working my skin is looking probably the best it has ever looked in months i don't have any fresh breakouts i don't have any new spots and that is making me really 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 happy so I literally have just put on the pixie skin tint this morning which I absolutely love it's just a really really great let me grab it actually so this is what it looks like and it is basically a tinted moisturizer but the definition of what I think a tinted moisturizer should be I've tried some tinted moisturizers in the past that have been a lot thicker than I was expecting they felt more like BB creams and more just like really sheer foundations whereas this literally feels like a moisturizer with a little bit of pigment in you can literally apply this with your fingers if you want it kind of depends on what coverage you want I find that if I apply it with a brush it does feel a little bit more like foundation but it doesn't feel like that on your skin. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin. So I get the shade beige and it's such an easy one. It's actually really affordable as well. So I think this is probably my favorite, most affordable makeup product to date. It says here, just to like kind of describe exactly what they would refer to it as. It says it's a cooling and hydrating sheer tinted water-based gel. Apply as you would a moisturizer and pat into skin. That is literally all I do with this. And oh my goodness, I am absolutely absolutely loving it so i'm very happy about the fact that i've been able to have a bit more of a no makeup day and i can really start getting used to not having to wear as much on my skin especially as we're coming into the spring summer months i want to be as lightweight with my makeup as possible i don't like heavy makeup i like really glowy dewy natural skin and speaking of spring I am so, so ready for spring to come. I feel like there's like this transitional period that I go through where I'm really loving that transition. We get some like warmer days. It's getting a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter. We obviously kind of like, we go like this in the UK when it comes to going between seasons. Like it's never a snap from winter to spring. Like it's like you have a few spring like days and then you kind of have a few wintry days and you have a few bright days and then you have a couple of rainy gray days. And it's really funny because you have that like transitional period. But then I feel like there's just this like switch that is flicked within me where i'm like excited i'm enjoying the transition it's a really really lovely time and then that switch flicks and i'm like i'm ready for spring that is it i don't want to look at my winter coats anymore i don't want to think about layering i don't even want to wear my chunky knits i just want to think about spring that is what I'm going to be doing in today's video. We're going to be getting ready for spring. I do this kind of video every single year. I always do it for the big seasons. I do a big one for spring and a big one for autumn because I feel like they're the two like obviously biggest changes when it comes to the seasons and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite things about living in the UK and I especially think moving to the country has really emphasised that because when you're in London, obviously, yes, you get a lot of the seasons, like certain areas of London, like Notting Hill, really show spring beautifully with all the blossom trees and then the trees turn like beautifully red and golden in autumn. But I feel like when you're in the country and you're just surrounded by nature, you're surrounded by the natural changes in the environment, it really does emphasise your love for the different seasons. And I... I'm so excited and so ready for spring. So I'm ready to start getting my home ready for spring. I'm ready to start getting my wardrobe ready for spring. I've been doing some spring shopping, some really gorgeous fashion pieces. I've been picking up some new home bits because as you know, I've been doing lots of changes around the house. I feel like I've had a bit of a new lease of life with regards to the house and I'm really, really enjoying adding some new pieces in. So I've been doing a little bit of shopping on H&M. I'm so excited to show you what I have been picking up. But first things first, I'm going to be starting with my I feel like my nails is always a big thing for me when it comes to the seasons and I have been loving this oxblood colour that I've had on my nails for the last couple of weeks. It's so, so gorgeous. It's actually been noted as like the colour of the year, this like oxblood red, which is gorgeous. I think the actual colour is called like Hermes Rouge or something like that. I've seen it online and it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, but... It's very wintry. It's not exactly giving me the spring vibe. So I've decided I'm going to go get my nails done this morning. And I'm going to really adopt that spring mantra and go for a more spring-like colour. I'll probably end up with satin pyjamas because it is just my favourite, like, really lovely, neutral pink. It just goes with my skin tone so, so nicely. So I feel like, for me, that's, like, the first step in getting ready for spring. It's like, getting my nails ready, getting my wardrobe ready, getting my home ready. And it just makes me so, so excited. So I'm heading off first thing this morning for my nail appointment. So let's get going. <laughs> Thank you. 
salon now and I am just loving my nails. I feel like we need a moment of appreciation for these beauties. I mean, ugh, I just absolutely love having fresh nails as well. Like no regrowth, they're nice and short and beautifully shaped. Again, it just makes me so happy, but the color is giving all the spring vibes. So this is satin pajamas from CND. Uh, no, from shellac, sorry. It's satin pajamas from shellac. So yes, it is a shellac gel polish, but I just absolutely love it. It's like the perfect shade of like pinky, mauvey nude. It suits so many skin tones. Like whenever I come in and ask for it at the salon, they're always just like, yes, of course, because it's one of the most popular nail colors it's one of the most asked for nail colors because it just transcends seasons like it's so easy to wear and actually the regrowth is really not obvious as well because it's just such a beautiful beautiful pinky shade so they really are getting me in the spring spirit I'm so happy to have said goodbye to the Oxblood. It was perfect for Valentine's. It was lovely February, but I am now ready for spring. So really, really happy with my new nails. And I'm also really happy with the view behind me. I'm not gonna lie, this view that I come down to every single morning just makes me so happy. If you missed my last vlog, you may not have seen that the new sofa arrived. So this is the Snug Sunday Cloud. Cloud Sunday? I'll leave it linked down below, but it's the scushiest, comfiest thing ever. I feel like it's really hard to show on camera, um, but what I might try and do is kind of like put side by side an image of what the old sofa looked like with the white, um, my white Ikea one. You can see the difference with the coffee table, how much taller this one is, and it's just so much scushier. Like, it's really, really comfy to sit on, and look at that. Oh, it's just absolutely amazing. You literally just sink into it. Um, so I'm still looking for some new cushion covers to update on here because I feel like these aren't really working. It's just looking a little bit too plain for me and I'm wanting to add a little bit of an injection of colour, but this view is still just making me really, really happy whenever I come down in the morning. So I've just made myself a cup of coffee because I'm not going to lie, I was sitting at the nail salon like... <laughs> because I hadn't had my morning coffee yet. I've made myself a cup of coffee, so I'm gonna caffeinate myself, crack on with work today, and then I can show you some new in bits that I have been buying to add some more spring vibes into the house. So, as I mentioned, I have been doing a little bit of shopping at H&M Home, one of my favorite places to do homeware shopping. They have so many gorgeous bits. I feel like their style there, like their interior style is just so timeless, it's so classic, and it's actually quite affordable. So I thought I would show you what I have been picking up because I am very, very excited about these purchases. Now, first up, I actually picked up a couple of cushions. Now, I kind of have two visions of what these cushions are going to be for. Number one, they could be for outside. And I feel like I'm not really gonna know whether they can be for outside just yet because obviously we're not gonna be getting any of our garden furniture out. Um, it's not exactly the time of year or the season and Alex and I are actually planning on this weekend oiling the decking just to kind of give it a little bit of a new lease of life so we obviously can't put anything out on the decking for a little while but these could either be for outside or they could potentially be for the bench that's by the kitchen table so if you guys know we've got like four chairs at the kitchen table and then we've got a bench at the back which was actually an ottoman that was home made for me by my grandpa and it's so special for me like it holds such a special place in my heart and it was one of the last things that he could kind of like build he's now 90 and obviously can't use his hands like he used to and it brings him so much joy when he comes around he sees it there he sees us using it and honestly it makes my heart melt every time i see it because there's so many intricate details and designs to it like he even put it on wheels because he knows me so well and knows that i love moving furniture around it's literally making me emotional thinking about it so anyway this could also potentially be used on that bench just to make it a little bit more comfortable but i really liked these when i saw them online they're like this really gorgeous beigey biscuity color with this like stripe detail and i feel like stripes are so summery like they're so spring summer vibes which i absolutely love they also have like a little handle so they're really easy to pick up to move about so we could always put them on that bench and then we could move them to an outside chair if ever we need to. So I really liked the fact that we kind of had a choice with these. I just thought they were so gorgeous. They also had them in a grey. So if you don't have a warm toned colour scheme, maybe you've got a bit more of a cool toned colour scheme. But these could be great for you in the grey colour. But I absolutely loved those. Oh my goodness me, this is heavy. Okay, so next up, I have chatted quite a lot about our kitchen island and how I want to be styling it up. And I do feel like adding a few seasonal pops can really help just bring in that season, get you excited for what's going on, bring the outside in a little bit. And I felt like there wasn't really a way that I could like style up the island. I wanted to create a base. 
So this is essentially the base for how I'm going to be styling up the kitchen island and I can add to it candles, I can add to it, I don't know, at Christmas time, like obviously lights or lanterns or something. And then in summer, oh my goodness me, I think I'm going to need some scissors to get into this. In spring, summer, I could put ferns on this or like seasonal candles or twigs, foliage, little like pots. And I just fell in love with this. It was this really gorgeous marble tray. And I just thought this was such a gorgeous addition. Now, I'm loving a lot of wood in the kitchen. And I saw a couple of wooden trays on H&M Home, but I kind of thought, you know what, I feel like Sometimes it can be too much wood, you know what I mean? So I thought it might be really nice to go to something that's completely different, like a complete contrast to what's already there. So I just thought this marble tray was absolutely gorgeous. We can style up candles and we can style up ferns and pots and like even maybe um, as I'm doing my herbs on the windowsill, I thought I could style those up as well. So I just fell in love with that i thought it was such a great addition into the kitchen i cannot believe how heavy this is you know it's good quality marble when it's this heavy okay this next one is probably going to seem really really odd but as soon as i saw it online i couldn't not add it into my basket it is a set of paper napkins which i know is odd normally i'm one that goes for linen napkins i like to be able to reuse them and wash them and put them back out on the table but i saw these and just thought i could not i wish they were linen because i think they are just the cutest thing ever but it's this gorgeous like green checkered print with a picture of like soup bread and a cup and at the bottom it says your super but like soup super oh my god i literally was like this is brilliant this is hilarious i need this in my life how cute is this gonna be for like barbecues and garden parties and things like that i think this is probably much better for things like barbecues when you're probably gonna have like a lot of grease and you're not going to want to reuse the napkins but i couldn't help myself they were just adorable now next up is something that i've got a little bit of a vision for and when i saw this i was like this is just gonna add to my vision i love this idea so i saw this really cute little like wooden peg hold that and i've kind of envisioning putting this up on the wall where the garden is so behind the chair that i sit on in the mornings when i have my morning tea putting it on there and adding on this to it so this i saw and i thought you know what that's like really adding to my vision so i kind of want to hang a few things for either the kitchen or for the garden so i was thinking i could hang my apron my baking with ellie apron um and things that i need to like reach for a lot and i thought this basket could really add to it so i don't know if it's like pegs for the garden or some of my garden tools or something like that i just thought that was so so cute so you can have some aprons hanging down some like linen napkins hanging down or something like that i just really loved the vibe and the way they'd start it up was adorable they hit me hooked lined and sinkered because their styling team is just top notch so i really love the fact that this is really gorgeous like wooden like very imperfect wooden peg which i think is so so gorgeous i'm going to ask alex if he can put that up on the wall for me because i think that would be absolutely adorable so yeah and then there's also this little basket which was so so cute it's tiny absolutely tiny they did have a big one but i kind of just wanted the really small one just to pop a few little bits in there and have it hanging on the wooden peg and i also didn't want anything too heavy either because even though obviously you can drill it into the wall i feel like you don't want to put anything too heavy on it so um yeah i just thought it was so so cute they also had this basket in black rattan um if that's more your vibe i definitely wanted to go for the more like natural jute kind of color so a really successful h&m home haul some pieces that are really going to help just like bring me into the new season get my home ready for spring and get ready for the warmer months good morning everyone it is a couple of days since i last spoke to you i kind of fell off the bandwagon when it comes to a vlogging over the last couple of days i don't know why i've just been in a little bit of a low mood i feel like it really has been the weather we kind of like dropped with regards to temperatures a little bit it got a little bit cloudy again and i really do forget how much it just affects me but i'm back today and we have sunshine this morning to the extent that i've dug this baby out you might recognize this gorgeous little jumper dress this is a old amazon fashion one actually i'll see if i can find something similar and link it down below most brands will bring something out like this every single spring but i was like i'm ready for arms out i'm ready for shoulders out i'm ready to start feeling the spring vibe so i dug this out of my wardrobe today and i thought i would put it on just to get me in the spring mood and pick up my spirits a little bit that being said i feel like i really do need to do a wardrobe switch over soon i know we're still in february but 
I'm really ready to start wearing those like spring dresses, even with just like thermals on underneath, like shirt dresses, things that are a bit more transitional. I'm really ready to start wearing. So I think I might do a little bit of a wardrobe switcheroo sometime soon. It won't be with the full wardrobe switchover, but I've definitely learned with regards to my style that I think I'm not really like a full on like winter wardrobe and then summer wardrobe kind of a gal. I love that transitional period. I love that kind of like elongated, like, moment going from winter into spring i absolutely adore switching up my style a little bit bringing things out of storage and of course adding new things into my wardrobe and speaking of spring style i place a little bit of a new look order i feel like new looks one of those places that maybe in autumn winter i don't really think about them as much i feel like they're not as i don't know i feel like they just come into their own in spring summer like they have so many cool actually that being said the jumper dresses that i wear all the time are from new look the gorgeous ribbed jumper dresses so that's a lie i do love new look in autumn winter as well but i was scrolling their website the other day and i was like you know what i feel like they're just coming alive at the moment they've got so many gorgeous pieces ready for spring summer it's getting me really excited and really inspired so let me show you what i've been picking up now the first thing I picked up is something that I feel like is an absolute must in anyone's transitional wardrobe. This is something I feel like it comes into its own every single spring, like it's a real timeless piece in your wardrobe and that is a blue striped shirt. I love a blue striped shirt for when it comes to transitioning from winter into spring and even actually when I think about it from spring into summer, I feel like a blue striped shirt is just so timeless and so classic. Like it's really, really easy to style for so many different occasions, so many different temperatures and so many different weathers. Like even if you were just wearing a dress like this, you could throw the shirt over the top. You could maybe tie it around the middle for something a little bit more. I don't know, like French with some cute little espadrilles or like ballet flats would be really, really lovely. You can wear it tucked into a pair of cigarette trousers. You can wear it over the top of like a racer vest and cute little wide leg trousers. I feel like there's just so many different ways that you can wear this. And if you invest in one that's just like really good quality, if you take care of it, you wash it well, you steam, you iron it, you look after it, it can last for years and years and years. And I feel like New Look have some really, really high quality cotton pieces. I feel like a cotton shirt is just an absolute must because it's so much more breathable it's like a really really good fabric and obviously it's going to last really well in your wardrobe so i think i picked this up in a 14 i did oh this is also part of the proud new look is a proud member of the better cotton initiative cute and it was only 25.99 which i feel like is such a good price and it's something that again is going to last in your wardrobe for a really really long time so i'm really excited to start styling this up ready for when spring properly hits so blue shirt is an absolute win i feel like it is just the perfect perfect size to wear it just really like loosely i've just tucked it into a pair of trousers which could probably do with a bit of an iron actually because they've just come out of storage but this is like one of my favorite spring outfits it's funny actually i feel like 99% of the year I love to wear like floaty feminine silhouettes but the one time of year that I really love a bit more of an androgynous style is spring and I really love her looks with these trousers and just a pair of trainers please excuse the fact that I'm wearing black socks with white trainers cardinal sin I know um, but it's just for the sake of the try on but yeah really really love the shirt I feel like it just needs a little bit of like loosening and kind of um make it a bit more casual like it keeps kind of wanting to do itself up I like it to be a little bit looser I've obviously rolled the sleeves up I've tucked it in and I just think it gives it so much more of a flattering vibe when it's just a little bit more relaxed so yeah really really love this you can also as i said wear it over the top of something you can wear it like untucked you can wear it like tied up i feel like there's so many different ways that you can wear a shirt like this it really is a perfect spring styling piece an absolute staple in my transitional now wardrobe next i picked up something that's a little bit more of a trend item which might surprise you because you guys know i'm not the biggest trend gal however I love incorporating trends into my wardrobe that feel really me and really reflect my true and personal style. And it's this really gorgeous maxi skirt. Now, maxi skirts are so, so in it this year. I mentioned it in my trends video at the start of the year and I am absolutely loving them. And when I saw this, I thought this was just so me, so easy to style and perfect for transitioning into spring because it's really easy to like change up the look. You can style it now with boots and a jumper and it's very wintry and then a shirt, maybe a racer vest and some sandals for when it gets a little bit warmer it's a really really great item to add into your wardrobe now it's 22.99 which i think is such a good price and it's a really really gorgeous like stretchy viscose material so it's going to be super breathable super lightweight and super super comfortable so i thought this was a great addition into my spring wardrobe okay now this is quite a vibe i don't really know if it's giving spring 
but it is gorgeous. Maybe I should have changed up the top for something a little bit lighter in tone and maybe not boots. I'm not sure, but because it is maxi, I do need to wear heels with it because it's definitely too long on me, but I love the silhouette and it's definitely a lot more formal than I was expecting it to be. I was thinking of wearing this as like a bit more of a casual one, day to day with like a jumper chucked over the top. And now that I've got it on, I'm like, oh, this is very elegant and demure and it's kind of giving me evening vibes. So the skirt is not what I expected. But actually, in a way, it's better. I really, really love it because it's super stretchy, super comfy, but super flattering. I absolutely adore it. I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous addition into my wardrobe. One of my favorite things about transitioning into spring is just how creative you can get with your wardrobe. I feel like I'm just so over like the layers, but I really love being able to style up spring pieces because you've got some maybe like chunkier pieces styled up with some lighter pieces. So I do feel like a roll neck is still an absolute necessity in your transitional wardrobe. I love styling up roll necks with maybe lighter skirts, like midi skirts. You can style them up with like cargo trousers. You can just wear them a little bit in like a lighter way. And also a great way to style these is to chuck them over your shoulders in a very preferable old money style kind of way I love it because here in the UK you never know how chilly it's going to get like especially in spring I find that we have weather where when you're in the sun you're baking you want to get your shoulders out you want to like you know strip everything off but then as soon as you're in the shade you're like wow it is chilly feels like the middle of winter again so it's great to have a couple of roll necks in your wardrobe so I picked up a couple that I wanted to add into my wardrobe from New Look because I love their knitwear I really really love the quality of it the feel the fabric it's just gorgeous so I picked up a black one and I also picked it up in white. I feel like the white is probably going to be the one that I get the most wear out of in this season because I really am wanting to incorporate those like lighter tones, those really lovely like tonal colours. I think it's so perfect for spring. If you're in a country that's maybe a little bit colder and you really struggle to incorporate spring vibes into your wardrobe because you still need to wrap up really warm, it's still quite chilly, a great way to do that is just by looking at the colours that you're adding into your wardrobe and that you're wearing. I feel like I could wear a black roll neck and I'm like, this is winter. As soon as I change it to a white roll neck, I'm like, oh, spring vibes. Like, it really does change the entirety of the look. I've been styling up a lot of tonal looks over on my Instagram as well, so I'll leave that link down below if you want some, like, inspo of what to wear, how to transition, how to style up your, like, wintry pieces for a more spring vibe. Head on over to my Instagram, but I thought a white roll neck or, like, creamy white, really gorgeous tone was a great one to add into my wardrobe. Here we have the black roll neck, which I just absolutely love. I didn't realise until now, but it also has a really cute little design detail with these gold buttons on the sleeves which I just think is so lovely it always makes something look so much more expensive than it actually is and I realize I've been calling these roll necks but they're actually mock turtlenecks which you guys know I adore so if you can see I know it's black so it's hard to see but they don't actually roll over they don't have to fold they just sit so beautifully on your neckline which again makes them perfect for spring because obviously it's not as like much material there and they're so flattering on us shorter girls so I feel like these kinds of mock turtlenecks are so staple in your transitional wardrobe and they're also really really hard to come by especially in terms of like a high street price so i'll leave them linked down below i think they had a few other colors as well so make sure to check them out if you're looking for any new roll necks I say in inverted commas to add into your wardrobe for spring. See what I mean when I say colour just makes all the difference. Like how much more of a spring outfit does this feel just by changing up the black roll neck for a white one. Again, it's got the gorgeous little like button detail on the sleeves. Lovely neckline. It's a little bit see-through. I'm not going to come too close because I think I'm wearing the wrong bra with this. So just something to notice. You definitely need a neutral nude bra on underneath. But I love the vibe of it. I think it's just really, really gorgeous. Super easy to make lots of like spring looks and transitional outfits which is why I just feel like there's such staples in your transitional wardrobe. Now this is really starting to feel like an Ellie spring haul, a gorgeous midi dress to add into my wardrobe. Now I've gone for black because even though I said it's great to look at those lighter tones I feel like depending on like the fabric you're adding in depending on the style it's great to like mix and match so obviously because this is a much lighter fabric a much lighter style I felt like I can kind of go for a darker color but it's this really really gorgeous black midi dress so it's got long sleeves which i feel like is great transitional styling because if it is chilly i'll just put thermals on underneath and nobody is gonna know 
nobody's gonna know but I really really loved the like fit of this it's got this really gorgeous like v-neck and then these like buttons running down it I feel like it just looks so so beautiful and I love the way that the waist is cinched and it actually does have like a little tie at the back so you can really cinch in your waist and create that beautiful silhouette and again this is something that's just so great to style up for now you can wear it with like knee-high boots you can wear it with a long line coat for this kind of like wintry period we're still in and then as soon as it hits more spring summer change it up for trainers change it up for sandals add a basket bag and it really does start to incorporate those spring summer tones i'm loving adding in pieces that i feel like i'm really preparing my wardrobe for the weeks ahead like i can still wear them now i can still style them up but they can be changed up they can be mixed and matched to really create a strong and solid spring wardrobe so i think this dress is going to be a must for spring summer oh my goodness me how gorgeous is this dress this is just absolutely beautiful a real ellie dress it's elegant it's simple it's feminine but of course i can layer up underneath i can wear thermals i can even wear leggings so i've just got it on with a pair of knee-high boots which i feel like is perfect for right now but obviously as soon as we start to get into the warmer months change it for trainers change it for sandals like there's so many different options but for now you could even wear like full leggings underneath you could wear tights and thermals and nobody is gonna know i just think the silhouette is so so beautiful actually it's cinched in itself anyway you don't really need that belt at the back i just kind of tied it loosely behind me but it's got like a really lovely stretchy silhouette it's so flattering and so feminine this is getting me really really excited for when i can get all of my spring dresses out i just want to start wearing all the feminine silhouettes again oh i just absolutely love this now this next item is a little bit more of a practical purchase. When I saw this, I felt like it was really filling a gap in my wardrobe. The current lifestyle, all the things that I'm doing, I feel like I've been really, really missing this from my wardrobe. And that is like a workout sweater. This is gonna be a workout slash gardening sweater for me. I can either wear it when I'm going to the gym, I can wear it over the top of like my gym gear. Cause you know what it's like? It's chilly when you're walking to the gym, you're driving to the gym, you don't really wanna be wearing like your full gym kit. You want something over the top, but as soon as you've warmed up, you need to chill. You want something over the top, but as soon as you've warmed up, you want to chuck it off. So this is going to be great. That's also a great one to wear in the garden. Just in my leggings, my boots, my gardening coat over the top. I feel like it's a really, really great one. I just fell in love with this color. It's this really gorgeous bisky color. It says Mont Blanc, which is very fitting considering that our ski trip we went on back in January, we went out to West, which has famously the most perfect view of Mont Blanc. So it's a little bit nostalgic and very, very fitting. And I thought it was a great one to add into my wardrobe. Cozy vibes or what? I am so in love with this sweater, jumper, whatever you want to call it. It's so gorgeous. It looks so much more expensive. This really is giving me the like sporty and rich vibes, you know, that brand because it just looks so elegant. Love the Mont Blanc on it. Like the fact that it's just this kind of like darker beige. It's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's thick, but not too thick. It's like nice and fluffy on the inside. I got a size 14 in this, I think. I did go oversize. I'll leave the sizes and all of the links and all of that linked down below. But oh my goodness me, I love this so, so much. I just wanna wear this for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> now lastly let's talk about spring accessories now i feel like great ways of adding in spring vibes into your wardrobe is just through like accessorizing you can change up really thick scarves or like lighter more tonal scarves and another great one is like hats obviously i'm changing up the beanies i'm not wearing beanies when it's going into spring summer but i do still want to keep my head warm i feel like a hat's great way to accessorize your outfit so i've got two here and i'm not gonna lie i'm undecided about them i'm going to need your help as to whether to keep them so first was this really gorgeous dark green fedora i just fell in love with this one i thought it was so so gorgeous loved the tone loved the color but as soon as it arrived i was like mm, is it giving like autumn winter vibes instead of winter to spring vibes i'm not so sure but i just thought it was so so cute and a great one to add into my hat collection because you guys know how much i love my fedoras i love my hats i feel like they really do complete an outfit so let me know your thoughts okay hat option number one is the green fedora now the first thing i'm noticing with this is it is quite small and i have a really really tiny head like the lack of colors fedoras i always get in the smallest size available but this is really really tiny i don't think they came in different sizes so if you're someone with a big head this is definitely not going to be for you but I'm undecided if I like it. I feel like it could be cute. I could really work and like style it up. Maybe with like a, oh, do you know what could be cute? My little Karen Millen green body warmer dress thing. 
that might be cute with this but it might be the wrong tone of green i'm just not really sure if it's giving me like christmas vibes with regards to the color or if it's cute i feel like my lighter tone fedoras just work like they effortlessly work i can add them to almost any outfit and they look really really cute whereas this i don't know if it's giving i'm really unsure so let me know your thoughts is it cute or is it not and then the other one i picked up i'm not gonna lie i'm even more unsure about this one it's this really gorgeous black boater now you guys know I love a bow tie in summer, it's pretty much all I wear. A straw bow tie hat is just such a classic and I really wanted to get something that would be able to transition me from winter into spring, but I'm really not sure if this is giving me like 2014 YouTube vibes. You know when we had like the massive glasses, the silly like logo tees, the like moustache obsession, and the boater hats, I'm really unsure if it's giving me that vibe. So you guys need to let me know, do I keep these hats? Do I return them? Are they good additions into my spring wardrobe or are they just not giving the vibe that I'm wanting to give? I really need your help. Mm, another one I'm really struggling with. I feel like on camera, it looks quite cute, but I feel like in the mirror, it's really giving me like 2014 Tumblr vibes. I'm really, really not sure about this one. So any help would be much appreciated. It's such a shame because I love boaters in the summer. I just feel like I want something to wear now. I can transition from winter into spring. That's like really similar, but I'm just really not sure if this is the right thing for me. So let me know down below in the comments. Help a girl out. Do I keep the hats? Do I return them? What do we think? Right, so it is a little while later now. I've just got myself dressed and ready because I actually have a shoot day planned today, which I am really, really looking forward to. I've had this in the diary for a little while now and we are heading to one of my favourite, favourite places to shoot. One of my favourite places down here in Hampshire. It is Mottisfant House and Gardens and it is just beautiful. It is actually a National Trust. So if you do have a National Trust membership and you're coming down to Hampshire for the weekend for a little Hampshire staycation, I would definitely recommend a visit because it is just beautiful especially at this time of year when everything is starting to bud things are almost coming into blossom it just feels really really like exciting and it's just such a magical place to go so I've got a little bit of like an early spring shoot there which I am really looking forward to and I just put on this gorgeous trench coat I actually dug this out of storage I picked it up last year if you guys will remember it's sold out but I have found an alternative a Sandro alternative on Farfetch which speaking of Farfetch I may actually have a code coming up soon for Farfetch. I know you guys have been asking me for another code for so, so long. So keep an eye out for that. It should be coming super, super soon. So I won't link this. Well, actually, I will link it. Save the link. Don't buy it yet if you are looking to purchase it and wait until I can give you my discount code because it's such a gorgeous trench. Like, look at the pleats and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm actually opting to wear this over my Burberry, which I feel like that really does go to show how stunning it is. It's really lovely and feminine. And I do find that in winter, I really, really struggle with femininity. I really struggle with my, like, personal style. I know it sounds a little bit dramatic, but I almost have a bit of a style identity crisis because... I love these like feminine silhouettes. I love these like really floaty, beautiful silhouettes. And in winter, I can't always like express that. So it's so exciting that we're coming into spring and I can really reflect my true personal style in what I'm wearing again, which is so, so lovely. So I've just put on my gorgeous duo boots, these like tan ones. They don't have them in stock anymore, but again, I'll link something similar down below and my dress on underneath. And I am ready to go for a gorgeous shoot day at Mottisfam. The sun is shining, I'm in an amazing mood, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. <laughs> just back from Mottisfant now looking a little bit disheveled but we ended up having a really really successful shoot it was so beautiful there despite the fact that I kind of forgot it's half term this week so there's lots of little ones running around it's always really cute actually you can always tell when it's half term because you always see the little ones and their grandparents like there was so many kids running about but we managed to get some gorgeous shots managed to get some really really lovely photos the snowdrops were literally just like a bed. It was like a bed of snowdrops. It was so beautiful. And the house there is just absolutely stunning. So yeah, a definite must visit if ever you are coming down to Hampshire for the weekends. But just got home now and I have just walked in to pure magic, pure magic. Look at this 
view. The sun is just shining through the bifolds and even through the Velux windows. It really is my favorite thing about this kitchen, just how bright and light an area is. It's actually south facing, which means that we get this light all day, which makes me so happy. It's funny actually, when you first walk home, because the hallway's a little bit dark, like it's quite a small hallway. It's obviously north facing, so it feels quite dark. And then the second you walk into this space, it just opens up into this absolute magic. It's the only way that I can describe it. And it's actually quite a low ceiling that we have in the kitchen. I feel like you'll never really be able to tell how low it actually is. But considering that how low the kitchen is, it's just the most light and airy space. And it really is a space that we just live in at this time of year. I love it so, so much. And whilst we're down here, I actually have a few updates that I have not been able to show you yet. I've been putting out the H&M home bits and just getting to the kitchen to like the perfect place so that it is ready for the next season. I feel like the only kind of thing left is gonna be the sofa, which actually speaking of, I need your help. I I'm having some problems with these cushions. I mean, I want to change up the cushion covers anyway, but I don't know if you can see this. Look at the feathers that are coming out of them. So these are from Dusk and I've had them on a while and I swear it never did this on the old sofa, or at least it wasn't this bad. Maybe it was because it was white. We just obviously couldn't see it as much, but on this beige sofa, it is really, really showing. I feel like when I come closer as well, you can really see the like tone difference between what we had before and the, the current sofa now. Like it really is a lot cooler in tone. So all we kind of really need to do is sort out this and just get it to a point where it's like a little bit more character i think is the best way to describe it i feel like what i've been doing in the kitchen is just adding pieces in that are going to add character i've taken away the flowers that were here and i've basically created this one huge bouquet which i really really love you know i love my faux bouquets i feel like they really add that like foliage that warmth into your home without obviously the maintenance of real flowers so i love that so so much it's just such a cozy area like we snuggle down here in the evening me and alex watch tv and it really is my favorite we can actually pull the tv out so it's great you kind of like pull it out to the side and it becomes a bit of like a cinematic movie setup which i really really like i've also been like sitting here to do work and stuff it's just the comfiest sofa in the world so so happy with this and i'm also just loving loving how the rest of the kitchen is looking so first update is the gorgeous marble tray i've actually got my flowers that alex got me for valentine's day which are so beautiful i feel like the light isn't showing them very well but these gorgeous like red roses they've got these little purple flowers in and these white ones which haven't quite come out yet I'm, I'm hoping by tomorrow they should be out i'm currently filming this on wednesday so hopefully they'll be out by tomorrow but i love how the tray looks and i feel like i'm just going to be able to change up the vibe of how it looks depending on the season depending on what's in like you know i can put some little pots of plants there i can put candles i can put I don't know reed diffusers or anything that just kind of like speaks to me in the season i think is a great way to basically pull a little bit more of the outside in which is what i'm really loving doing at the moment so obviously it's just been valentine's we've got the valentine's vibes but as soon as we get further into spring we can do tulips we can do bulbous balls we can do i don't know anything i really really love this i think it works so well and it really works well as well with our butcher's block i love the fact that they're both round i get a lot of questions about this butcher's block um unfortunately i can't link it because it was actually a gift from alex's parents if i turn it over you can tell which side they used to use because it is very old on this side but it kind of just adds character i really really love it and i love how well it goes with the wood in the kitchen i love how well it ties all together i just think it's so beautiful so i love the fact that they're obviously both round and they just kind of work really well together i feel like it really Really adds a bit of character a bit of like seasonal seasonal styling to this area and i do feel like when i had i don't know like things before it was just taking over i think i just want to keep it nice and small and delicate which is why i actually love that alex got me these he didn't go for like a huge tall bouquet just something really beautiful and perfect for this space so i'm so happy with that and i've also got over here just to even more bring the outside in and incorporate those kind of like green vibes are my um herbs which i'm not showing you i've not potted this one up properly because i got this one a little bit later than the other two so i've got rosemary we've got parsley and we've got basil so we can start cooking with these and i'm really really excited about it so rosemary is perfect for like roasts and stuff i know basil is good for things like pasta um, Alex asked for parsley. I'm not entirely sure what I would use parsley for. I need to look into some recipes, but I love how this space looks. It's just a really lovely little like window display. And I think this is just the perfect little gift. If you're looking for a gift for someone that maybe loves their planting, loves herbs, things like that, I'll link it down below. So affordable from Amazon, but looks so expensive. Um, so yeah, love that little setup over there. And then moving on to this side, you might notice a big change over here. 
I've actually created this perfect little nook i think is the best way to describe this this is my nook now and i love it i come and sit here in the morning i have my cup of tea i'll sit here in the afternoon i'll answer some emails like it really is such a perfect space and what's quite nice as well is that if we have like guests or anything if there's not enough space we just pull the chair around and we've got more space around this area for socializing for movies for film nights things like that um but yeah it really is the perfect chair this is a dunelm number and i love it so so much and i've just started up with this gorgeous little laura ashley pillow this is from next a little throw and then of course i've added my h&m home hooks onto the wall these are beautiful it's made of mango wood and it just uh oh, looks so so gorgeous i feel like the space was so bare before and it really does add that character now in terms of like nailing it to the wall i did it myself so i'm not gonna put anything heavy on there because i don't really trust myself with regards to diy but i've just added a couple of aprons this is like a little floral kath kidston one and of course my baking with ellie apron that alex got me for christmas and then i've just added the little h&m home basket to that as well which i think looks so so beautiful will probably be kept empty but it looks cute and that's all that matters i've also added now this i'm unsure about i've added the um h&m home cushions to the bench please excuse my gardening stuff i need to go and put that outside in the shed but um it's just been inside for now but yeah i'm not sure i feel like i don't really know if they work let me know your thoughts if you were to stay with someone if you were to come around for like a dinner or something would you rather just sit on a bench that's just a bench or would you rather sit on a cushion on a bench let me know but i just love them i really want to keep them and make them work so if they don't work here i might be able to make them work outside side i have kept the labels on though just in case they need to go back so we'll have to decide what to do with that um and then the last thing that i have been squirreling away doing i had a very productive at night last night i was feeling really really inspired when i was doing all the changes um but yeah i've updated my shelves and i'm loving them i've been adding a bit more color into them which i really feel like just makes it less of a show home and more of a home home which i really really like i was all kind of inspired by this gorgeous display bowl this is from a brand called charland england which was made by louise rowe she's a gorgeous influencer herself and she just created the most beautiful crockery brand i've also got my recipe book there so i kind of like was inspired by that and i started bringing out a little bit more color like my teapot i've had this for years this was from john lewis it was a birthday present quite a few years ago and i always get questions about it i definitely don't think you'll be able to shop it anymore but I'll see if I can find something similar down below because it's gorgeous. It looks like a charity shop find, but like in the best way possible. And I love it so, so much. I really love it for like a Sunday morning when you just want like a nice, lovely cup of tea. It's just my favourite. Um, so yeah, I've got like the usual stuff that I had before, you know, like my bars, my books and things like that. But I just feel like it's a little bit more characterful. I think it's the best way to describe it. I've also put my olive tree in the new pot. It looks a little bit bare right now, but I'm going to do a trick that I saw on Instagram where you basically buy fake moss and you kind of like stuff it around with fake moss to make it look more like a real tree um so yeah i'm loving how this corner looks over here i feel like it was quite bare for quite a long time and it really is starting to come together now and it's just become the perfect the perfect little nook for me to sit in so yeah lots of changes happening over here i feel like it's kind of just like the only thing left is getting the cushion sorted with this sofa and just making this area perfect but i've been loving changing things up and just getting them more seasonally ready for spring i am so ready for the new season now and this sunshine is getting me really really excited so i think i'm gonna leave the video here because i don't know about you but i'm kind of pretty much ready for spring now i feel like we have achieved our goal. My wardrobe is ready, even my skincare and makeup is ready, and now my home is ready. That's just my favourite thing to do before each season. I know a lot of you say not to wish away the seasons, but I just love this transitional period. I find it so much fun. You guys know how much I love styling up my home, making it my own, and just really embracing the space. And I feel like using that like seasonally is such a gorgeous way to bring the outside in and just to really connect with your surroundings. So I am seriously, seriously ready for spring now let me know if you are too leave me actually your favorite spring emoji i feel like i used to do this all the time and i loved doing it but i've kind of fallen off the bandwagon with this so if you've gotten this far in the video leave me down below your favorite spring emoji and if you're watching on the tv just go onto your phone log on to your youtube app quickly click on the video and leave it down below because i love knowing whose favorite emoji is what i feel like it's so interesting like it says so much about you and i also love knowing who gets to the end of these videos so i would say mine it's probably the tulip emoji the tulip and the sunshine together that to me is spring vibe so leave me that down below in the comments and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button make sure to do that now and i will see you guys in the next one bye